morning. As Phoebe mentioned, my name is Amanda Full James and I'm Head of Business Development for Apprenticeships and I'll be your speaker for today's insight on network engineering and how our level four apprenticeship can build capability within teams to meet with the challenges and demands businesses are experiencing now and could do in the future. So looking at the agenda uh, for the next 45 minutes, what this will include is what are the top challenges businesses are facing and how are organisations embracing this apprenticeship um, as a solution to broaden skill sets um, and drive efficiencies? And what results are being achieved by doing this? And ultimately, you know, why Firebrand? You know, when you want a trusted provider, what really does set us out from the rest in the market? And as Phoebe mentioned, we'll have a session at the end as well to go through some Q and A. So what are the top challenges businesses are telling us that they're facing? Well, here you see what is causing them um, the most problems. You know, Network resilience is everything. Network outages not only take down the business, but they can also leave a lasting stain on its reputation. The increasing sophistication of hackers, even Microsoft and Amazon cloud services have fallen victim means outages are here to stay. Um, the International Data Corporation believes, you know, by 2025, G2000 organisations are still experiencing two or three systematic service provider network outages per year, showcasing the importance of added investment in connectivity redundancy and service resiliency. So what is new is that, you know, enterprises are really having an increased focus on business continuity at all costs. In 2022, more than 30% of organizations will prioritize connectivity resilience to ensure business continuity, resulting in uninterrupted digital engagement for customers, employees, and partners. Now, an organization expects six network to be reliable, secure, flexible, expandable, and definitely cost effective. So this means IT teams must perform a series of balancing acts to sustain and grow those efficiencies. The impact of the pandemic has heightened this even more with adding more pressures, seeing more traffic coming through and needing to be able to cope and have really strong efficiencies in place. So let's start to take a look at what a solution could be. So organizations want to bridge skills gaps, you know, and broaden the capability of their teams to, provide solutions to some of these most common challenges that we see are faced. You know, training budgets are either reduced or in some cases non-existent. So a route to a robust solution through an apprenticeship program at this foundation degree level apprenticeship has really been a valuable investment for businesses that we've worked with. So let's start to take a look at the apprenticeship in a little bit more detail. So Firebrand's Level 4 Network Engineer Apprenticeship supports employees to provide networks and systems to deliver the objectives of various, uh, very varied organisations, sorry. They will make sure that systems are working at optimum capacity and problem solved when they're not. To be able to do this effectively, a network engineer must interpret technical information and understand organizational requirements and expectations. They support the delivery of uh, legally compliant solutions to challenges in networks and infrastructure. Now, network engineers will deal with both hardware and software issues. They are a key part of putting things right quickly when networks fail, and they communicate problems that they have identified with network integrity or performance rapidly to ensure service is resumed and downtime is minimized. You know, network engineers are helping customers both from a technical perspective 
and non-technical perspective to install computer networks, um, maintain them and offer technical support to users where necessary. Now, in order to support the application of a successful candidate enrolling onto this program, and no doubtedly having a great experience within their journey, one of the most important elements is the role suitability. This means that the candidate needs to fulfill the following technical skills that you see here as part of their day-to-day -day duties. Now, Firebrand are all about setting up individuals and businesses for success. And as part of our robust onboarding process, um, <clears throat> we complete an employer role suitability assessment with you. And this is about ensuring from the offset that the role and responsibilities the individuals carry out will align to the relevant duties, knowledge, skills and behaviours to successfully complete their endpoint assessment. You know, it's about making sure they have enough exposure in that role, allowing them to demonstrate evidence of their learning and being able to put that into good practical use. Now, Firebrand Sector Leading Level 4 Network Engineer Apprenticeship develops employees to be able to design, build and secure multi-vendor networks. This will be explored throughout the programme and with the delivery and assessment of knowledge, skills and behaviours throughout their entire journey. This program offers a vendor neutral approach to networking to give um, good, you know, broader expertise in all elements. And we also include three months foundation training, such as CompTIA A+, Core 1 and 2 Cert Master Learn, or even Cisco Fundamentals. And through our subject matter experts, specialist learning mentors, and world leading, leading trainers, sorry, our programme is about preparing learners to work across all sectors, providing value added insight at all levels. And finally on this, the endpoint assessment will be carried out, covering a simulation assessment, questioning and a professional discussion underpinned by a portfolio of evidence that's collected throughout the lifetime of their apprenticeship. So let's take a look at candidate eligibility. <clears throat> well, remember, a level four apprenticeship is the equivalent to a foundation degree, which is the equivalent to two thirds of a bachelor's degree. So this is not at entry level. This particular apprenticeship is focused on experienced individuals looking to enhance and broaden those skills to deliver good all round effectiveness. Now, if you're with us today and you're looking at this particular apprenticeship and you're thinking this is a higher level role for what where you want to maybe bridge current skills gaps, we do also have a level three network technician option in ICT that may suit prior to then developing onto a level four. Now, looking at vendor accreditation, there are actually two pathways available that we offer within the network uh, engineer level four. So these two pathways are where we're able to align world class vendor qualifications to the knowledge of the apprenticeship as part of our delivery model. This is at no additional cost and it's about giving ultimate value added in not just occupational competency, but having that certification as well, because we recognize this is what our clients want. So we've got a Cisco and Microsoft flavors available to be able to meet with those client demands. As we move on, we wanted to share with you an illustrative example, really, of one of our uh, particular pathways, which is CompTIA. Uh, CompTIA pathway for network engineer level four. 
um, within the special, um, you know, the, the length of the programme can be anything, depending on the pathway that you cover, from 16 to 24 months duration. With this particular example, you can see the little house is on here. Um, and this example illustrates that we've got 12 days of what we would count as residential learning that is delivered in three blocks of four days. And that's where we really focus on teaching that technical competence. We have a blended approach to that learning and that experiential delivery. And that's through online learning, through learner mental progress reviews and making sure we're meeting those milestones and also through work-based projects and this is about where we've got our experts with individuals really bring into life the learning in the workplace through simulated projects real life projects that are happening we've got portfolio reviews and also end point assessment preparation So where do we deliver this from? Well, in this phase, Firebrands USP is really, you know, our state of the art training facility that, that gives learners an environment for a totally uninterrupted, accelerated and immersive learning experience. There's no additional cost and we provide full accommodation, refreshments and meals throughout their stay. The hotel is a minute's walk from the training centre and learners will also have their own ensuite bedroom with Wi-Fi facility. As I mentioned earlier, we um, serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks and snacks and they're provided throughout the day. And within our residential facility, there's ample on-site parking as well as a shuttle bus to and from the train station, dependent on the preferred mode of transport. So now let's take you into having a look at some results. What I'm illustrating here really is the, the milestones and those checking points throughout the, the journey of the Network Engineer Level 4. And particularly here is demonstrated the CompTIA pathway. So it's not always about what your people will have by the end of the programme, but the milestones that they will achieve throughout the lifetime of that apprenticeship. Now, milestones are key to achieving success and really seeing how individuals grow throughout their, their journey, really. So to give you a bit of a flavour of that, um, I want to share with you what learners, what candidates will be able to do in, in certain parts, you know, going through this programme. So by month three, learners will be able to interpret written, uh, interpret, sorry, written requirements for technical specifications in relation to delivery of network systems and services. They'll be able to maintain accurate logical records in line with organisational policy when carrying out network tasks. They will be able to consider the impact and risks when implementing network changes in line with work activities and being able to escalate that as required by organisational policies. By month six, the learner will be able to install, configure and test appropriate network components or devices securely to well-defined specifications, whether it be physical or virtual. They will be able to undertake upgrades um, to a network, including, again, physical or virtual systems. By month nine, they'll be able to acquire and analyse network performance data to monitor network activity, optimise and maintain the performance of network systems or services in line with well-defined specifications, again, whether it be physical or virtual. They'll be able to investigate and problem solve to address technical performance issues in networks to return the network to successful operation or escalate certain parts where necessary. And by month 12, they'll be able to deliver and manage a high quality service under pressure. Ensure all network engineering activities comply with organizational policies, technical standards, health and safety legislation, data security requirements, professional ethics, privacy and confidentiality. 
they will be able to incorporate considerations of the requirements of the wider digital context in which they operate to ensure that the network engineering engineering activities, sorry, are carried out effectively. So what's the impact? Well, here are just a few statements from organisations who have invested in this apprenticeship um, to either upskill or attract and develop top talent. You know, we've seen um, and have evidence of seeing individuals progress to maintain a competitive edge of competency and skills. We've seen businesses that work with us, our clients, stay ahead of the curve, you know, with a workforce delivering high support and high challenge that is consistent and sustainable. And that delivers growth. Um, the themes we see as well from our clients' feedback on business impact is motivated employees, you know, job satisfaction, increased productivity levels, and ultimately improved efficiencies and effectiveness in delivery. Now, if you also want to talk to us about other digital needs within your business, um, we do have the largest product offering in this space with, at the moment, 15 apprenticeship programmes um, that offer 30 plus pathways across networking, cyber, data, digital and software. And we deliver over 200 courses for leading vendors, including Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, Cisco, as we've talked about, CompTIA, ISC2 and Google. So we would welcome exploring what you may want to achieve as an organisation or in fact an individual a little bit further with you. So as we start to conclude before we open up with, with questions, um, I mentioned earlier why, why Firebrand really. Um, we're specialists in digital training and you know what, we don't divert away from that but we stay true to what we're strong at and we focus on keeping our clients, our learners ahead of the curve. And, and this is evident, you know, um, through our performance as, you know, we are industry leaders in the, uh, you know, in the distinction mates. Um, we're delivering those above national average. In fact, we actually hold the top spot for both distinction and uh, merit level achievement. It's about teaching to mastery, and that's what Firebrand do, you know, with our experienced and certified instructors, subject matter experts, and learning mentors who have high occupational competence from a variety of, of sectors and specialisms. Being able to give that learner an experience of that 360 degree support. And as I've stated earlier, you know, our, our proven results in being able to support organisation objections, you know, objectives, sorry, and individual goals to be able to really drive digital skills forward for the future. So thank you for your interest today. Um, just to point out, our next schedules for Network Engineering Level 4 are running across this spring. So if you have requirements, please either email the chat function or contact myself direct through the email uh, that's stated here. And we'll be able to set up a meeting uh, with you to share some dates and explore that further. So um, if I can open up now, Phoebe, really to any yeah. questions. Yep, absolutely. So if anyone has any questions, if you could please pop it in the chat um, and I'll read them out to Mandy, just because there's quite a few of you and no one speaks over each other. Um, in the meantime, I might start, if that's all right with you, Mandy, to I'll start the Q&A off. So why would you recommend um, the Network Engineer Apprenticeship over any of the other ones that are regarding infrastructure? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's down to obviously the, the evidence really in the results that, that we see from clients. I think, you know, ultimately being able to deliver a network engineer through an apprenticeship is the ability not just to 
be able to cover um, really the theory, but being able to put that into practice and really bring those new skills to life through that experiential learning, you know, with within that apprenticeship. And, you know, one of our delivery methodologies, and again, I was conscious of time for everybody that's on this call, is, um, you know, our, our biggest delivery methodology is around lecture lab review, you know, that ability to give the theory, but then that lab part when they're in that residential environment is a bit like a sandbox where they can test and sample in a risk-free environment and really start to think about how that's going to work and those skills are going to build into the workplace. And then that review is that reflection on, you know, achievements, you know, how it does need to live and breathe where they work, the changes that they need to make, you know, how they can make a difference. So it's really being able to bring practical elements and, broaden those skill sets, but ultimately embed that learning through practical capability. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Um, I'm just, is, so if anyone has any questions, if you could please pop them in the box, in the chat box, that'd be great. Um, otherwise, is there any sort of like final words, any sort of, any sort of thing that you'd recommend um, if you were starting the network engineer in a couple months time, any sort of pre prep you'd recommend uh, future apprentices to do before starting the apprenticeship, Mandy? To be honest, it, it really depends on prior attainment and prior experience. But, you know, we can have conversations with individuals to talk about, you know, what preparation would best suit them. You know, yeah. even before you're scheduled into your first course, you know, we we really focus on pre-work. So it's about being able to, you know, that individual get into that space really of the subject matter they're going to be concentrating on. And then that post-work delivery is about implementing that into the workplace and taking those skills in. So it really does depend on prior attainment. You know, we, we want to treat every individual in their own right to look at how we can stretch and challenge them within the apprenticeship through their own individual learning plan. But we'd look at that very much at the start or even explore it as, you know, no obligation requirement before they consider enrolling. Right. Cool. Thank you. Um, I think if there are any question, if no one really has any questions, but they cut like they're sure they're going to be um, asking or thinking of a bunch, you know, in the next couple of days, please feel free to email Mandy. Um, the, her email is on the slide. Otherwise, I'm just popping in the our official Firebrand training email. Um, you can always email us there and then we will forward you over to Mandy or an appropriate account manager um, to discuss anything network engineer related. Brilliant. So no more questions then, Phoebe? I don't think so. I think if everyone's quite happy, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. again, you know, upon... Uh, reviewing this in more detail if you have some questions you know um, later down the line as Phoebe said you know please do approach us we're happy to to answer those for you um, so I suppose on that note you know do have a good rest of the day thank you for joining us and we do hope to hear from you in the not too distant future thanks again absolutely thank you so much Mandy uh, thank you to everyone who joined us today you'll be hearing from us shortly regarding the um, recording and, you know, get in touch with either one of us via LinkedIn or our emails. Um, yeah, have a great sunny afternoon, everybody. Thank you.